Hi everyone, it's Amy. Um, so far in this module, we have discussed your deviant offense cycle. We have talked about the relapse prevention model. Um, I've given you some terms that you should know, not just for this module, but for going forward. And um, some things that you should know about how to avoid a lapse. But what if there is a lapse? You know, um, how do you keep that lapse from becoming a relapse? And I'm going to give you some techniques to help you. Even in the best treatment, no matter what you're doing, lapses will happen. Um, get your head wrapped around that first because it will help you so that when a lapse does happen, you won't get caught up in that abstinence violation effect and move closer to a relapse. Um, there are eight basic interventions that I'm going to give you uh, to prevent a lapse from becoming a relapse. Today, I'm going to cover the first few. Uh, the first one is cognitive restructuring, which is what this whole program is really based on. But in talking about uh, preventing a lapse from becoming a relapse, the aim of this is to counteract those self-defeating or self-deprecating cog cognitive and emotional aspects of the abstinence violation effect. Um, whenever you feel um, a lapse into a fantasy of sexual aggression in regard to sex offense, but this can be used with any addictive behaviors, um, any kind of self-harming behaviors or things where there is um, behaviors where there is harm to others. Instead of reacting to your lapse with a feeling of personal failure and guilt and this conflict, uh, view it, as I've said before, as an opportunity for some self-management. If you cannot do this just by telling yourself certain things, some of that positive self-talk, and you need something more concrete, make some reminder cards for yourself. I know you're going to say, well, that sounds so silly, but then you have something in front of you that you can look at. Okay, so what do you put on these reminder cards? First, write down what a, a lapse really is and review it. Write down, I am in control. Write on another card, I am in charge. Write that I have slipped, but I will not reoffend. Write that I will return to abstinence. Write down what the abstinence violation effect is, which I have reviewed, um, so that you won't let it happen. Write that you do not need to give in to deviant urges. List some of your coping responses on a reminder card and use them. Um, have a list on another card of some phone numbers, your therapist if you have one. Uh, um, family members, friends who you can call if you're in a group, a group member who you know. Five minutes on the phone when you're having a lapse. Five minutes on the phone can save you or people who you come into contact with years of pain. All right, just taking a few minutes. Um, on another card, list your high risk factors, internal and external. Um, and I'm going to list some of those on Facebook and also on Twitter. Review these cards over and over when you are having a lapse. Okay, so another intervention for um, preventing a lapse from becoming a relapse is what we call contracting. And I did mention this in a previous video. This is a contract that can be signed by you together with a family member, a friend who you trust, a parole officer, a probation officer, if that's your situation, specifying a limit to which a lapse will be tolerated. All right, so let me give you an example of what a contract might say. All right, when I have, this is in regard to sex offenders, but you can fill it in however, tailor it however it will fit you. When I have a thought or an urge to leave my house and buy pornographic material or look at pornographic material, I will wait 30 minutes before doing so. During this time, I agree to pause and consider my desires and the risks that it poses to my reoffending. If at the end of the 30 minute period, I decide to go out and buy pornography or look at pornography, I will be making an intentional choice 
rather than passively yielding to, an, to a controllable urge. If I end up buying such material or looking at such material, I will immediately inform my therapist, parole officer, family member, friend, the next time I meet with them or the next time I see them, and I promise to hand over the pornography that I've purchased or hand over my laptop, if that's what it's going to take. At that time, I will also donate money equal to the purchase price of the pornography or equal to the time I would have been paid when I was looking at it online I will or determine some monetary value and I will donate money to I don't know domestic violence uh, I will donate it to think of some organization that would benefit from a donation by you and that's how you would put your contract together all right so by having this contract it is very specific and it requires you to see your behaviors as a conscious choice because it's saying wait that 30 minutes and if after that 30 minutes I'm still doing it you understand you're making a choice it also mandates a penalty for you choosing that lapse so that's two. Here's a third intervention. Make a maintenance manual. Make this manual for yourself. In the manual, you can include your reminder cards that I just told you about, um, some avoidance and escape strategies, which we've, we've reviewed, some emergency telephone numbers, friends, family, a therapist, a list of your seemingly unimportant decisions, um, a list of your high-risk factors, internal and external, a list of your coping responses. Make one of these contracts and keep it in your maintenance manual. And go over this manual periodically. All right? I know these things sound, they may sound silly to you, but the act of doing it, the fact that you will have these things can be an enormous help to you when you are experiencing a lapse and they may prevent it from sliding into a relapse all right so next time I'm gonna have more interventions for you so that you can prevent your lapses from becoming relapses and until then please subscribe to my channel feel free to get in touch with me on Facebook on Twitter on Instagram I am available for your questions I am here for your comments I am even here for your very kind and construction constructive criticism. And until next time, be well.